today we are going to start a new topic. As you know that I take physics. All of you know that I take physics. But today's topic is related to chemistry. It's not related to physics. It's related to chemistry. Even though your book says that it is physical science. Your book says that it is physical science. But there are some topics which are related to chemistry. Understood? So out of this topic, the first basic topic is about atom. The most important topic of chemistry is atom. First of all, we should know what is atom. So before understanding atom, first of all we should know where these atoms are present. For example, what is this? Duster. This is a duster. So, duster comes under duster comes under matter. First of all, duster comes under matter. It is a matter. Duster is a matter. So, where do you find atoms? In the are found in matter. In the matter. So by this we can say that the atoms are present everywhere. You can see this in the book. Understood? So does it come under matter? Yes. So does it have atoms? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. So anything which is matter. This pouch is a matter. matter. This pouch is a matter. matter. So atoms are present in the Yes or no? Yes. So anything which Matter. Anything which is matter, matter, it is made up of atoms. It is made up of atoms. This board is matter. Yes. 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 So it consists of atoms. Understood. So for us, the next thing is that we should know what is matter. So anything which has occupies space and mass, mass and occupies space. Here. So matter has two properties. Matter has a two properties. What are the two properties? Mass occupies space. Mass. It should have mass and occupies space. First of all, let us see what is meaning of occupies space. What is the meaning of occupies space? For example, I am taking this duster. I am placing it in my hand. So it is taking some space. It is taking some Space. space. Understood? The book, I am giving this book on the bench. So the book is being occupied. Understood? It is taking some space. Is it clear? So we can say that this duster is matter. Why? Because it is having one property. What is the property? It is occupying space. It is occupying space. Now coming on to the next property. Mass. Understood? What is mass? For example, this is a matter. Why? Because it is taking space. Next, what is mass? From which it is? So this book is made up of? Paper. This book is made up of? Paper. So what is the mass? Paper. So this, understood? For example, this bench. This bench comes under? Matter. Why? Because it occupies space. It occupies space and has mass. So this bench is made up of wood. Very good. Wood and iron. So what is the matter? For example, bench. So bench comes out as matter. No. Yes. Why? Because it is occupying space and it has mass. What are the mass here? Wood. Wood. Yes. So, wood and iron. What is present in this wood? Iron. Iron. So, finally, we can say that everything in this world is made up of atoms. The chart is made up of atoms. The wall is made up of atoms. The pan is made up of atoms. The book is made up of atoms. My shirt is made up of atoms. Everything in this world is made up of atoms. So, atoms are very, very important. important. 
So if you want to understand physics or chemistry, the most important thing is that you have to understand. Yes. Okay. Now let us see what is. So whenever you get the idea of atom, you have to imagine that atom consists of two parts. Atom consists of two parts. First, the inner part it is known as nucleus. Understood? Atom consists of nucleus. And the outer part is known as the Okay. Now let us see what is nucleus. What is the nucleus? nucleus? The innermost part of the atom is known as nucleus. Just like what is the no? Yes. The innermost part is core. Yes. So similarly, yes. atom yes. has yes. innermost part that is there in the nucleus. Some particles are there. What are they? Some particles. So these particles are known as the
particles. What are? Atomic particles. Particles. Is it clear? Yes. Just I will revise once. Today what we learned? We learned about atom. We learned about atom. atom. And where is atom, atom present? present? Where is atom present? Atom is present in atom. Okay. And what are the subatomic particles present in atom? Is it clear? Yes. Any doubts? No. Okay. So tomorrow what we do? We just revise this topic. And tomorrow we come. Again I will start the lesson with asking some questions. And again we will start the next week.